enemies might launch chemical warfare attacks against our ships and shore installations. But until recently, use of chemical warfare at sea was uneconomical because the tonnage necessary to produce an acceptable casualty rate was very high. Today, however, we know that our potential enemies are producing G-agents, deadly nerve gases, which are 10 to 100 times more potent than anything known in the past. Chemical warfare won't destroy ships, but it will decimate personnel, contaminate the structure, and perhaps make the ships uninhabitable. Ships anchored at fleet bases are especially vulnerable to gas attacks. Enemy submarines might penetrate our harbor defenses and spray our ships with gas. Amphibious operations are also vulnerable to gas attacks. Enemy planes firing rockets filled with gas could slow up or perhaps even stop an amphibious landing. Enemy shore batteries could use gas-filled shells to render beaches and landing ships uninhabitable. Since CW attacks with gas are a very real possibility, it is up to us to make sure we know what we are fighting and how we can defend ourselves. 